No, 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 no. You say, yeah, 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 yeah. Why, why, oh. why, why, why? Because no always wins. <laughs> I taught you that. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to I'm Just Trying to Stay Married Today, and Lord knows I am. <laughs> Appreciate is it going to be that kind of day already? It is. How you doing, Foxy Brown? I'm doing good, Big Daddy. I'm sitting here drinking my coffee because you ain't fed me yet. I know. I wanted you to be on point for this one. Whatever. I no. I wanted you to be hungry. <laughs> <It's> no. <laughs> if I say no... That just blew your theory out the water, even though yes. I said whatever, Stop man. It. Stop. What's it. going on? Um, we're gonna be talking about no always wins. Okay. Um, before we get started, I want to thank everybody for dropping in and checking us out. At just trying to stay married today. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to us on YouTube. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and everywhere else we show up. Check us out on Spotify. If you like to listen to your podcast, Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, and wherever else you choose to listen to your podcast. <laughs> don't you spit on that microphone. <laughs> we don't need no hot too. <laughs> I will not be spitting on my mic. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. So, this is a very simple topic, and hopefully we can expand upon it. But in our relationship, um, no always wins. Yeah, but I'm modifying that today. It only wins uh, in an argument. Yeah, well, decisions. Okay, Big yes, decisions. in decisions. When you guys yeah. have to come to a consensus, yes. no always wins. No always wins. In the episode, no, just win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get the breakfast, y'all. It's yeah. one yes. o'clock in the afternoon. I ain't ate yet. I, pr I promise I'll feed you as soon as we're done. Thank you, baby. So let, let, let's talk about this a bit. No okay. always win. Mm -hmm. how, how do you see that? Um, it's like I told you, it's when we're having a disagreement or mm -hmm. a heavy debate. Y'all, we don't really argue. We may get mad, but we don't really argue. Um, I nobody realize that the person, huh? I just ain't nobody got time for that. No. But I realize that the person that says no is the one that always gets their way. Because if it's a no, it's just a no. I don't care mm -hmm. how much the other person says yeah. Because mm -hmm. unless it's like, I'm going to leave you. <laughs> I'm going to leave your ass sitting right here when I leave. You know you're not. Yeah. <laughs> that does not work. Because <laughs> Neil well, and I will often leave each other. <laughs> mm -hmm. For a while. And we'll be right back. Yeah. But, um, then, but that ahead, kind of falls in. That kind of falls in um, with our other thing is we don't have an or else. Yeah. That kind of stuff. There's no, you, if you don't do what I'm going to say, you're going to do what I say or else. We don't have an or else. <laughs> and because you took, um, you don't have an or else. Like you took, um, if you love me, you would. Mm -hmm. All yep. of that stuff falls in the same bucket. It's like, yep. you love me, you do this for me. Neil told me oh, I could hell. never say that. Never, that never, never, never. And I have no. never said it. I have never nope. used that as an argument. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. That's why you still here. <laughs> Cause the show ain't for the cooking. <laughs> yep. But so. no, it's, um, God, and I say no a lot. But when you're when you're caught up in a disagreement, it's like, no, I'm not doing that. And hmm. the person like, yes, you are. The person that said no hmm. is gonna win because you cannot yeah. force. Them. And if you do, you try the manipulation <laughs> shit. Y'all gonna have a raggedy ass relationship. Yep, it might as well do this balance. Work. We don't do manipulation. No, you don't think so? 
do you think just you on some connected? level do you no, think you I'm, I'm just saying subconsciously you don't think we manipulate at all no i know i can be a little passive aggressive at times but oh my god he's such a girl you say it all like that you don't have to jump on it all <laughs> You, you are, you been, are passive aggressive. You said you just been gentle. well, maybe sometimes a little bit. No, no. You, oh my god. <laughs> I'm agreeing with you wholeheartedly. <laughs> you know the protest in it. <sighs> but okay. I don't think, Go ahead. I was gonna say I don't I don't attempt to manipulate you in anything. Okay. Like I said, it's subconscious, but then also that whole passive aggressive shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a bit manipulative. Yeah. But then I go back and think about it and I said, you know what? This ain't really worth it. But then you will not, like I say, even if it's not an argument, you won't even have the disagreement. You'd be like, just never mm -hmm. mind, just forget it. And you're always afraid I'm going to say, um, what you tell me? I always say that I don't. Uh, well, what about you? Mm -hmm. I do not do that. I threw that in the trash can with the first marriage because I hate that. It's like, yeah. you know what? Why are you bringing up the past? Why you didn't bring it up when it happened yeah. instead of instead of now? So it's instead like letting it build up. Yes. It's like, man, why, that's why I used to, when I told you I used to run away all the time, because I would let it build up. And instead of facing it, psh, I'm out. I bounce. Deuces. And you hold on stuff, say, I'm going to put this in my holster and I'm going to pull it out. When they do something else to piss me off or they try to act like they pissed off, I'm going to pull it. But well, what about you? You did this, this, this back in 1973. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you in 1973, but you told me you did it. <laughs> But yeah. it's still, like I say, it's still go, it, all of that ties into the the no wins, yeah. and it's like, and it's a, it's I it's talk. You got lips. Use your words. <laughs> <laughs> but the person who says no wins an argument when it comes and argument debate, whatever you call your disagreements and all that kind of stuff. But when your partner says. No, I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not doing this. No, we're. See, that's when it gets real clear. Mm -hmm. No, we're not doing that. No, we're not putting money here. No, we're not buying that. Mm -hmm. That's when no really wins. Mm -hmm. Because you're making a decision for both of you. That no comes out. It's like, mm -hmm. man. And then you want to have that. You ain't going to tell me what to do attitude. Mm -hmm. So now you're going to jeopardize your marriage, your relationship, your longevity or whatever, because you're not going to tell me what to do. Yeah, he's going to tell you what to do. Now, how long you accept that or do that or engage with that is on you. Mm -hmm. But the no wins, it's like mm -hmm. pick your battles. Why you always got to have your way? But then again, I don't have a lot of no's. You always say that shit. When do I? Am I right? I don't ask you for a whole lot of shit, so you ain't got a whole lot of shit to say no to. But I still don't have a lot of no's. Okay. What is your no? I don't. You I can don't have name one off the top of your head. Something I asked for that you always say no to. That I always say no to? Mm hmm. What if I. What's the last thing I asked you for? Uh, barbecue potato chips. Okay. That's about as deep as it goes. <laughs> Can you go get this for me? I certainly can. And then yeah. it's like when it comes to money, um, out of respect, I always say, well, baby, I'm going to go do this. And you say, why are you telling me? Mm -hmm. It's like to give you the I, opportunity to say no, that. I, 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 I truly appreciate the fact that you come to me and say, I'm going to do this. And I do the same thing. I say, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of money without telling you. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, little stuff. No, don't worry about it. But big stuff, um, there's no way I would go out and spend a bunch of money without telling you about it. Yeah, and it's, it's um, like I told you, yeah, I told Neil I want to turn the living room into a podcast studio, but he going to get on my last fucking nerve. Oh, my God. And I'm seeing but that with all no. the Fs. All the Fs. But, but did I say but I no? Asked, I could have asked, and that could have been a no. 
because I know that I don't spend any time in the living room, you guys. I'm either in my office or in the bedroom or gone. Those are the three places that I go. Gone. <laughs> no, I don't say gone a lot. Or in the kitchen. But I do not sit in the living room and watch television. That's the only thing that's in the living room. So I was looking around there the other day. It's like, you know what? We can use this wall as the backdrop. We should turn this in into, into a studio. But like I said, you know how Neil going to get on my nerves? Soundproofing, lighting. And I know all of that's a thing. But it's like, dude, can we just get to the point to where we can actually afford the soundproofing and the lighting and all the things and the the whatever? Right now, we're just trying to get some consistent space where we don't have to keep setting up and breaking down and turning on lights and him running out into the hot ass space that he has outside in the garage and all of that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. But well, it's all the more reason you should subscribe and buy my book. <laughs> Life the variety of life by Neil Strada on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> but is is I I don't normally subscribe to the done is better than perfect mantra, but in this case, you will not let done be better than perfect, would you? No, I'd I'd say let's let's do it. Let's start, and we can upgrade as we go along. Yeah, and Which then kind of what we doing anyway. Well, what we be doing by moving. You're gonna be bitching about this. And we, you, okay, can you make me a promise. You make that promise, and right here, why everybody listening, make that promise. You're not gonna bitch about the sound quality. No, <laughs> but and I ain't gonna no let <laughs> But I won't. I won't uh, let it stop us. I will make okay, it as best as we can. We will, I will make it as, as good as we can with what we got. How about that? I can live with that because mm-hmm. how often do you do Because, y'all, I have a rocking chair. When did you buy me that rocking chair? Was it a birthday mm-hmm. gift or a Mother's Day gift? I think it was a Mother's Day gift. We were still in Long Beach. I know it's still in Long Beach, but I have a rocking chair Neil bought me, y'all. Mm-hmm. This will sits in the rocking chair more than me. Yeah. We better put some cricket sounds in there. <laughs> you, don't, you don't never want to sit in the rocking chair. Because it's on your side of the bed. Who put it there? I did. Well, shut up. That's all there is to that. (laughs) Oh, God. Y'all see. But you said this was going to be a short episode because, like I said, there's not a whole lot of there's not a whole lot of wiggle room in no. You can decide for yourself or you can decide for each other. The only time no really wins is when when the person is deciding for the both of you. Mm -hmm. So make that clarification. You can say no about what you're going to do and what you're not going to do all day long. Mm-hmm. But if you say no, no about what we're going to do, mm-hmm. yeah, it's 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 making that decision for the other person person where the no wins. Yeah. So if like if Neil says, "Baby, we going to the Space Needle?" No, we not. Mm-hmm. No, we not. Now, mind you, I'm not stopping him from going, but you See, ain't gonna make him go. But see, that's the whole thing. It, I've learned that it comes down to phrasing. It helps a lot. I say, baby, I'm going to the movie to see the Avengers at 7 o'clock. Would you like to come along with me? And you have a yes or you have a no. Mm-hmm. But that's not a weak well, thing. You say, well, I, well, I want to see this. I hope you have a good time when you go do that. I'm going to see the Avengers at 7 o'clock. And we don't have that kind of arguments anymore. Mm-hmm. But we don't, I don't think, God, every, you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm, like I said, my words get caught behind my lips and they just won't jump out my mouth. <laughs> mm-hmm. The, the, for the most part, our relationship, even though it's a we thing, we're comfortable and we trust enough mm-hmm. to be a we thing. And, and, and believe it or not, 
Yeah, I'm not even saying that it's easy. It's just that Neil and I have this thing. I don't even know what to call it. And it's always been a thing that our relationship would just move. I know a lot of people say um, relationships are hard work, and sometimes they are. But when you have mm-hmm. to work so hard that everything is a fucking fight, then yeah, that's what makes it hard. I don't feel, and you tell me if I'm wrong, I don't feel like I have to compromise in our relationship either. This, mm-hmm. I, I think the biggest reason that our relationship has lasted as long as it has, and I have been happily married for will be 20 years next month, is that mm. I've always felt safe. And mm. you know I've had my share of raggedy-ass relationships, including a practice marriage and a couple of engagements. Mm. And I have never felt as safe as I do in our relationship. And I don't think a lot of people get that. Yeah. And Can I my office? Go ahead. I'm listening. Uh, the, other, um, the other thing that probably helps you a lot is a lot of shit I just don't care about. <laughs> Neil, can I do this? No, yeah, okay, whatever. I have my few things, but outside of that, I'm not going to say no because I really don't care one way or the other. And see, and I'm, then not gonna tell you, I'm not going to tell you no because I don't care. Do your thing. If, if that makes you happy, baby, go do your thing. Okay. I'm not trying to steal your joy. Again, can I smoke in the house? No. Always win. <laughs> oh, I will buy you stuff to smoke outdoors. You just bought me a cigar the other day. Where's my cigar? Where'd kitchen. you put it? You left it in the kitchen. Okay. But he says no, but there are exceptions. So you need yeah. to say that part. There are exceptions. When, when she's are doing her, 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 your, your exception is when you're doing one of your um one of your lives for your business and stuff like that. And it's part of I your personal life. House. Uh huh. That's your uh, when you're doing your what's what you gonna grandma buzz thing, and whatever. Buzz and Brandon. Buzz. There you go. Yes. When you're doing those type of things and with your baby BTS babies and all that stuff. No, I don't do it with BTS babies because I don't because you you're my case study for that and I don't smoke when I'm on camera with you. Okay. Oh no, you don't. But um, when you when you're doing your business stuff and that's part of your. Your business brand. You, know, you got your bur- you got your bourbon and your cigar and your and your one of them fancy hats you got hanging up behind you. That's your thing. You don't yeah. wear that. You don't do that for this because it's a totally different thing. Yeah, and like I said, for him and mind you, he bought these. Most mm-hmm. of the cigars that actually come in the house, Neil buys, but Neil won't let me smoke in the house intentionally. Like just everyday smoking, I have to go take my ass out on the porch. And y'all, okay. it's been hot for months. I have not been on the porch. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot like fish grease. And I have not gone to the cigar lounge. But that was the thing that he said. I ain't mad about it. I don't want my house smelling like cigars either. I come mm-hmm. from the cigar lounge smelling like cigars and go straight to the shower. But mm-hmm. the thing is, his no wins. And it was mm-hmm. not an argument. It was not a disagreement. And I'm not going to say that. Why? Why I can't smoke in this house? This is my house too. I pay rent. And, please. No. I am so not having that fight. <laughs> not worth it, is it? No. <laughs> Especially when I can go easily smoke somewhere else. Yep. And no, you Carry can't go with me. Door. Carry your ass out door. Uh, you know what? And I, I, go, to, I, I go to the cigar room. lounge with you. Wait, baby, that's what I was gonna say. If I told Neil I'm going to smoke a cigar and I don't want you to go with me, guess who's gonna show up? He just he said, You said I can go with you. He just said I couldn't be here. <laughs> okay. Tell me what to do. <laughs> See, just a whole ass mess. Well, I'll but just it's sit right there those- with my bourbon and right along with you. Mm-hmm. But it's the, the, like I said, the thing about us and like, even when people, you don't tell your husband everything only because I forgot. I don't know nothing that I haven't told you. And again, it's because I feel safe. And mind you, I have family that I don't feel safe with, that I grew up with. And it's, Mm -hmm. it's. If you find that person you can be safe with, and not because you tell them 
how to make you safe, but you're just safe in general, I'm telling you, that's the person to be with. That is the person, that's your ride or die. And if you leave that because you've gotten bored over the last 20 years, you're a fucking fool. <laughs> Preach, baby. Preach. But, it's, but it's, that's the thing. The, the, the safe space to be who you want to be, how you want to be, when you want to be. The only thing I'll ever say is like, is because it's something like, if I say, baby, don't wear that shirt. Don't do that. If you ask me why, I'll tell you why. I don't want mm. my husband going out looking like that. At least go iron. Or that color does not look good on you. Don't wear we that. Both do that. Yeah. It's not often, but there's times that, oh, baby, no, that's not the one. <laughs> Neil don't like all my all my rolls showing. Yeah. <laughs> my butter biscuits. <laughs> I didn't say don't have them. You ain't got to show them to everybody. It's like, that's not flattering. That's no. not flattering. That's not your. That's not your and best look. And so it's it's about. I don't know. Like I said, for us, for some reason, it was an automatic safe space. And I don't mm-hmm. know if that's because of all of the online talking we did beforehand and all of the the not so. We were very transparent in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I've never been one of those women. With your red boots on. With my red boots on. I still got the boots. They in the garage somewhere. Um, yeah, but yeah. I have never felt the need to, because I grew up in a house where you hide your shoes, you go do your shopping, and you, you tell the UPS man to come when ain't nobody home but you. I've <laughs> never done anything. <laughs> you have all my passwords to my phone, to Same my here. computer. Same here. It's, it's, it's the same thing. And so that makes it easier for our no to win. Mm-hmm. It's not saying that you're always going to be happy about the no, but it's like, it just is what it is. You have so many fucking yeses. You going to let that one no tear down your playhouse, as my mama would say? Psh, ain't got time. I'm going to tear your playhouse down. I'm sorry. Is that something there. you just made up? No, it's the fault. Who's what that, song um, is that? The bitter, bitter, right? One of them. I'll find it and play it for you later. No, don't do that. Oh, yes. I love to no. share my music with you. No, don't do that. See? <laughs> this is probably a no that will not end because Neil will, even if he doesn't play it directly for me, he'll play it loud enough so it's heard throughout the whole damn house. <laughs> I ain't playing it for you. I'm playing it for me. Uh huh. Like, I just want to turn up my music. That's the, that's a smart ass no. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, are you hungry? I am. Hungry. Well, you know what? Actually, I'm not, but I want to eat. There's a difference. Okay. Either one works for me. Yeah, my coffee has kind of suppressed my appetite. I'm on. How about some biscuits and sausage gravy and eggs? Oh yes, please and thank you. Because I okay. was about to eat cookies for breakfast. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Don't do that, baby. Wait, who ate all the white <laughs> cookies? Wasn't me. I looked up there. I was like, where the hell all my cookies go? Baby, I got some the other day. I think out of that whole thing that I put in there, I got eight cookies. Mm. I, the, when, even when I, I went back seven. to get the first four, mm-hmm. all the white cookies was gone. Probably the same person who ate that whole box of Pop-Tarts. And then ran out of sweet stuff, so decided he was going to eat all the cookies and only eat the white ones. <laughs> but won't feed herself. Can I have a bite no. of your sandwich? <laughs> Get off your lazy butt and go in there and make <gasps> you something to eat. Welcome to the teenage years. Yeah. You would so, think. It, what? Go ahead. No, no I, I was, I was just going to say, I, as much I, as you want to want to have time <laughs> with your daughter, I would think you'd make her, take her ass in the kitchen and cook. Don't let I drag in that cook. See, that's the thing. I know how to cook. I may don't may not use as many spices as you and all that kind of stuff. I know how to feed myself. Morgan, mm-hmm. that heifer gonna starve. I dragged I drug her in that other day and made her bake a loaf of bread. I know. And she ate a loaf of bread damn near. <laughs> she is a bread fiend, you guys. Hot the dog buns. You think it, yeah. If it's bread, if it got 
bread on the label. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. I'm left Morgan in your house. Bread, it, sugar. <laughs> like but don't but don't like rice and potato. Like well, that's right. She yeah. like French fries. But you know what, baby? That just made mm. me think. And I, I promise you, I catch y'all with my kid. I'm gonna catch a case and I'm going to jail. But <laughs> you know how you are, we always talk about the Chesters and candy. Mm -hmm. like some candy they have to come up the morning. You want some bread? You want some bread? <laughs> Texas Roadhouse Rolls. <laughs> when I catch y'all around my daughter, I promise you, <laughs> they won't find you unless I tell them where you are. <laughs> garlic. garlic bread. Oh, goodness. Yes. The carb queen. The, cheese, the cheesy uh, the garlic cheese bread from Mod Pizza. She'd go crazy. Yeah, but if it's bread, that is that is her weakness. Don't keep mm -hmm. no bread in the house. And especially don't keep fresh baked bread in the house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you ever want to date my daughter and I see you coming bread. to my house with a loaf of bread instead of some flowers, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> But thank you for listening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wrap it up, baby. Wrap well, it up. Now that we've taken that tangent to to its <laughs> logical ending, it is time for us to break out because I'm gonna go cook for my <sighs> wonderful wife. Um, appreciate all y'all listening to just trying to stay married today. Uh, be sure to subscribe to us again on YouTube. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Um, set up your notifications on Spotify and Amazon Podcast, Amazon Music and Apple Podcasts and all those other podcast venues. Tell a friend about us. That's what you should do. And leave us comments. We want to know what you think about no, the podcast. If y'all don't comment on these damn videos, Neil's going to lose his shit. He likes to, he, he needs that validation. Give it to him. Like and subscribe. But leave him Why a comment. He want to talk to y'all. I want to talk to y'all. I want to know our people. Whether yeah. you're married or not. Just yeah. speak up. Say something. Baby. Hmm. I know. Wrap it up. Time to go eat. Love all y'all. About to bounce. Peace. Deuces. <laughs>